and it's finally official. John Beeline is no longer the head coach of the Cleveland Cavaliers. There's also reports that um, the players were playing music with the word thug in it in a way to haze him because he allegedly said they were playing like thugs. Then he went and said that he meant slugs in one of the worst cover-ups since the Astros cheating scandal. <laughs> Jalen, what does this whole Beeline saga tell you about the Cavs? Shout out to J.B. Bickerstaff. That's like my little brother. His father drafted me with the Nuggets, and I watched him grow up. And I think uh, whether it was in Memphis when he got the opportunity or in Cleveland, don't be surprised if he actually keeps that job. Mm. Nobody's talking about it. Don't be surprised if he actually keeps that job. I think he'll do a good job. With that being said, everybody knows I have an affinity for John Beeline. Of course. And, and that makes it personal. But professionally, let me just say this. This is one of the worst experiments of a head coach going from college to the NBA in the history of sports. Mm. In the history of sports. And I hate that his name is going to be attached to this because he didn't even get a chance to finish one season, Jacoby. No. He got a five-year contract and didn't even finish one, one of them. season. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay? And for this to take place, unfortunately, with a lot of fans, of course, at Michigan, bow down. We're going to pay homage. I appreciate everything he did for our program. But fans outside of that realm are really going to – run his name through the coals based on what you just said. Yeah. You can't be in a locker room full of grown men or any men for that matter, any people for that matter, and they're professionals and you call them thugs. You you can't do that. You, can, you just, you you just can, cannot you, do that. You cannot and, do but that. But then to, to say that you meant slugs is just such a terrible cover-up. And no you, one believes you, And John. you just so happen to be an older white man in a sport that's yes. 75, 80% black. Well, it, Jay, it shows that you're so very far out of touch that we're going to get you out of your contract. We're going to give you a different role that's the, the thing. team. That's what I want to ask you about. It seems to me <laughs> that he was like, they're like, oh, okay, you can just buy me out. Give me 100% of my money that you owe me. Not gonna and they're like, it. well, we can't do that. I'm not going to be able to do And then it. they made an offer, and he was like, well, I'm not going to accept that. And then they're like, fine, we're just going to call you an international scout or something. Correct. Go away. Because, because he, here's the dynamic that makes this ugly and unique. We're not really firing you. No. Like we're not we're not really even firing because then we'd have to pay you. It's it just like you you're not up for this position. You know it, I know it, and everybody else knows it. So therefore, let's come to a conclusion and go our separate ways. Because you know, I pay attention to sports media very closely, and this story came out Monday, and I was just thinking to myself, this means that they're still negotiating. Correct. So they're still negotiating. It got to a point where they didn't come to terms. So they're like, you know what? You're no longer the head coach but you still got to get this to earn this check. Well, well, first it was like the two sides are going to part ways. Mm -hmm. There's like, oh, he's going to step down. There's like, oh, he's going to be out as coach. Then it's like, oh, he mutually agrees to take another job within the organization. In other words, Beeline is standing in the office saying, I want 100% yes, of my of money. Yes, of all the money that I signed and they're that telling, contract. And they're telling him, like, you are incompetent at this job. We're not even – like – you were incompetent at this job. We're not paying you. So that's the impasse that they seem to be at. It is time. unfortunate for John Beeline. He will go back to college and still be a game changer as a coach. What's up? Thank you so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. Don't forget to download the ESPN app. And if you want more premium content, which you do, make sure that you subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. See you soon.